Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a singles new love reading for my dearest Capricorns. Capricorns, let's go ahead and see who may be coming towards you in love. Oof, all right. So we get main male. So I'm going to pull from the Kipper deck first um, to get some messages about this person or about this relationship. So we got those two popping out. All right, main male, community, and occupation. Ooh, Capricorn. Overall energy, wealthy man. All right, so Capricorns. So the my gen my readings are not gender specific. So this new person, they could be male or female. They have a lot of money, or they do very well in business or or finance. They may have their own business. They may be your boss. Um, this person is already in your energy. I feel like for many of you, this is somebody that you're going to meet through work. Um, either you work with them or it could be a client or, you know, they come to your house to do work, whatever that might mean. Although I'm seeing that this person, um, this is like the boss. This is not somebody who sort of takes orders from others. This is somebody who's very successful. I think they also see you that way. Um, this is somebody you may know through friends and family though as well. Okay. If it's not like a workplace connection. Um, because it's possible with that community card that you know them through, you know, from down the pub or you know them from, you know, out and about in the community. Maybe you live in the same neighborhood, but there's something here where you guys may meet or work may bring you together, or maybe that's what you guys sort of start talking about, you know, while you're out there raking leaves or whatever it might be. All right, Capricorn, I love this. All right, so it looks really good. Let's get more info on who is this person coming towards Capricorn. Ten of Wands in reverse, nice. And the Chariot, so they could be a Cancerian. So you guys could be a Cancer Capricorn. That's sort of the same axis. So this is somebody who's very different, but you get along quite well. Um, this person may be in the process of a divorce or kind of like switching up their work schedule or changing their life around. So I'm seeing here that this person might be a little bit stuck or not moving towards you right now. And again, play with time here, you guys, because you may not even know this person yet. So when you meet them, you might feel like they're a little bit stuck or there's distance between you or they're at a distance, but they're definitely releasing some burdens. They're getting out of a difficult cycle. Maybe they're, you know, they're freeing themselves up so they can invite love and romance into their lives or take you out, spend more time with you. For some of you too, they may be in the process of a move is what I'm hearing. So if they have their own business or their company might be moving or relocating or they're changing where they live. All right. How they're going to view you Capricorn, four of swords, not taking action and strength in reverse. Okay. So Capricorn, they're seeing that you've been through something, either some sort of illness, maybe you're recovering from some sort of surgery, maybe a difficult breakup or relationship. This person is very discerning. This person, look at how he's always got that one hand in the pocket. Um, he knows what he wants. He, he's looking right at you, Capricorn, but at the same time, knowing that it's maybe not the right time to take action towards you um, because this person absolutely is used to, accustomed to success, but wants to have success with you. We have Cancer Leo, so you could, you could be a Cancer Leo cusp or maybe this person is or have these in their chart, but they definitely see that you're feeling drained. Um, maybe they know that you've been single for quite some time, Capricorn, but I don't know. It's like you might feel you, this person might even be a little bit intimidating for you, but I feel like they find that very endearing or very adorable or something like that. Um, but for the most part, I feel they know you've been through something and they need to take it really slow with you. All right. Um, the action that they're going to take towards you. Yeah, right now, this person, they're not going to pressure you or push to be in some sort of relationship. Um, this person, I feel, again, they've got their eye on you or they will have their eye on you for quite some time before they take any sort of action towards you. Um, because the emperor in reverse, again, it might be that this is your boss or this is somebody you work with and they don't want to sort of tip that balance, um, mess things up. The knight of swords tells me that they're not going to do anything until they're completely clear 
on if you're single, if you're ready. Like I said, this is somebody who may may overthink things too, but I, I kind of don't think so. I think this person's just very, very strategic. And so they're going to really hold back until they know that there's success here or that you're ready or that you're approachable or that you're healthy or, you know, whatever that might be. Your final outcome energy, we get the five of pentacles and we get the king of wands. So I'm getting two messages here, Capricorn. Some of you guys, you know, if this person doesn't take action towards you um, and they kind of stay in this, you know, for a lot of you, this may be your boss or maybe, you know, they're, maybe you, they work for you. Um, but I do see that for a lot of you, you know, you may turn this person down because you want somebody who's going to take action. If they take too long, I feel like you're just going to, you know, heal and you're going to, you know, turn your attention elsewhere. If you feel like it brings you any sort of drama or that they're too st strategic or controlling, you're going to move away from this person quite quickly, even if that means being single. Um, for some of you, though, I do see that you guys with the final outcome, the King of Wands here, you know, they may be manifesting or you may end up manifesting manifesting, you know, some sort of relationship with this person under less than ideal circumstances. So like I said, if it's against company policy for you guys to be together, and this is something that you're like, you know what, we're going to do it anyways, because the five of pentacles, there are two people in this card. And this is like till death do us part. And even if we're in a, you know, S H I T T Y situation, or we can't, um, you know, we can't fully be together at this point in time, the king of wands is like, but we're still going to do it. Um, so again, it's going to be up to you guys, Capricorn, what you decide if this person takes too long, if they bring you drama, if they're not open about how they feel, you may just sort of chalk it up to, well, there wasn't much to it anyways, and move on and, you know, work on another situation, work on yourselves, work on your health, your coin and attracting somebody new. For others of you, I do see that, you know, it's possible that you guys do come together, um, despite the circumstances. And I don't know what that five of pentacles circumstance might be, um, but it could be that there, if this is a long distance connection, um, it may be that you guys can't physically be together, but you decide to give it a go anyways. All right. The knight of pentacles in reverse. Yeah. Some of you guys, I feel like if you work with this person, you might be leaving this job or I don't know, maybe they are. I just kind of get somebody taking like switching jobs or moving, um, maybe taking a little bit of a pay cut. Um, the Knight of Pentacles in reverse is about not taking action though. Um, so again, some of you guys, if you don't see anything sort of unfold, but I have a feeling you'll know this person is watching you. There's going to be a bit of tension between you again at work. This is somebody that, you know, they look at you when you look up They're you know, they're there or they look down that type of energy. But I feel like if they don't take any action towards you, Capricorn, you're just going to move in a different direction. Um, or if they're not, um, I don't know if they bring you any sort of drama or they're not open about how they feel. Cause I feel as if you guys are in this really this energy yes of healing building up your strength maybe you've been single for a while but you're not really taking any bs and i don't think you're up for any games that king of wands is also you setting strong boundaries like you can meet this person's energy um even at, at, if at times you might feel a little bit intimidated but you know what you want so we do get that this person is responsible and they're very passionate beautiful so for some of you guys, there will be work responsibilities that interrupt this connection. We get religious and we get lost spouse. So it's possible this person has gone through a difficult divorce or separation or they're a widow or a widower. This person's very sophisticated. I feel like this person is actually a very good match for you, Capricorn. But again, it's going to be their love language. Do they make, you know, do they, are they open and honest about their feelings? Do they move towards you? Because there's something here about distance, either physical distance or emotional distance. The energy, the passion is there. I think you guys would make Make a really good match but it's all about whether or not they take action if you're going to invest in this person or not all right because I don't see you being the one I feel like you want to be I'm not saying that you want to be chased but you want this person to put in the work okay so why do I keep messing things up and I hear a million voices in my head telling 
me the things I should have said. So this is what they will say to you. Um, this person might be somebody who, again, they might have waited a little bit too long and they're worried they've missed an opportunity with you. Um, and for some of you, they do. They're disappointed. They want to come out of the cold. So it's possible it's somebody from your past. But I don't get that you guys had like a relationship. I get that you guys, you know, this is something new and this person knows that they have to take action, but they have this very sort of strong, austere, sophisticated, accomplished ex exterior, you know, very sexy, very passionate, like all of these things, but they do have those insecurities lurking underneath the surface. Okay. And maybe somebody here, um, was in a bit of a player type energy and that's why they didn't take action or, you know, there, or that's what you're thinking. I don't really get that though. I mean, the emperor energy too, though, could be if they have a lot of options, they definitely see you as their best option. Um, but it's like almost like they don't want to, there's a little, you make this person a little bit insecure, Capricorn, to be honest, okay? So it's like they they feel like they've met their match, but maybe they're used to dealing with people who are lesser than, that are a little bit easier to win over, or people who are a little bit more, um, you know, starstruck by them in some way. All right, so we get manifesting the one. So very soon your true love will arrive. So I definitely get that. If it's this person, Capricorn, or again, if they're not taking action, it's too difficult. There's too much distance between you. You will move in a different direction and manifest this partner. Um, responsibilities. So romance interrupted, duties come first. I saw this energy in the reading and we get time apart. Yeah, so some of you guys, this person's at a distance or maybe you're gonna take a little break. Maybe you're on a break, um, but there is something here that's going to separate you. And again, maybe they have a lot of responsibilities. Maybe they're moving, maybe their offices are moving. I'm not sure. Um, but the sacred union of bodies to becoming one, I do feel that there will be some sort of physical connection or there has been. Okay. So you guys, I'm going to leave it here, sending you guys so much love and light. If these messages resonated with you, I'm just going to ask that you like, share, subscribe. If you're after a private reading or you like the cards I'm using, or you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram, all that info is down below. Also feel free to leave a comment and don't forget to ring that notification bell. All right. I love you Capricorns.